The direction with cybersecurity is pretty limitless at this point because you look around and everything is technology. Computers and TVs, cars, and smart homes, everything is hackable at this point. So it's definitely limitless with the area that you can take it. Growing up, I was always kind of in between with computer science, engineering, and then some business stuff too, some architecture. So when I got to RIV and they offered cybersecurity, it was actually the culmination of all of those things together. I'm learning about programming, computer architecture, ethical hacking, so a lot of very cool things that you kind of have to stay current with. Professor Norris, who has kind of got this homeland side to him, and he gives you this edge on all the threats that exist out there, both domestic and international. Being a small school, I have the advantage of having a great relationship with my graduates when they do move on. I have several that have top secret clearances already. I've got many that work in the national security apparatus and some that have gone on because they'll major in homeland and minor in maybe business, business marketing, business finance, and have actually gotten into the business world. Cybersecurity gives you the soft skills for both the software and the hardware, but then the personable side for business. So you're walking in, it's kind of a culmination of everything. So you have to really appreciate the business, the software, the hardware, everything kind of coming together to really enjoy cybersecurity. We can actually go into these companies and say, hey, your firmware is completely out of date, and we can show you why. And we can go into that company and completely exploit everything that they have in there. Be like, we can help you solve this <laughs> because we just expose everything that you have. It kind of goes along that term where, you can really just help protect people in a sort of sense, but in a completely different way. The motto of Riviera University of changing hearts and minds to serve the world, our students come here and they're motivated to go out into the world and make a difference. Our curriculum requires at least one internship, but we offer up to three. And some of our students elect to take advantage of that over the summer because they have the 240 hours, especially if it's a paid internship. Being a junior, I've actually already interned for a military subcontractor as a sophomore. And following that, I'm currently a junior working as a cybersecurity analyst. So they've really opened me up to a lot of different experiences where they gave me the soft skills where I could walk into these companies and say, I can actually do this if you want me to. And a big piece of that was the help that I received from here at RIV. But the faculty is extremely hands-on. They teach you exactly what you need to know. I was offered a position as a cybersecurity analyst for a cybersecurity contractor, which I'm currently working part-time. So walking out, I'm hoping I can just transition right in. And I think that the courses here really give you an understanding of both the architecture, the software, so you can kind of fit into your own groove. You learn it all, but you can really walk away with exactly what you want to do. This campus has become a challenge for me because the only thing in your way is yourself. So you're really given every resource you need when you come in. It's not just a degree that's handed to you or not just paying for an experience, they make you work for it. That you kind of adapt in that respect towards what life outside of campus will become when you enter the workforce.